Hey, what's up you guys? So it's been a long time since I told a story from my school days. Cause you know, I thought I'd run out of stories. You know, my school life was very dull. Nothing ever happened. I was the wallflower. But I did think of one the other day. And before this begins, I just, I just wanna say that there are gonna be people freaking out saying, this story is gonna get some people in trouble. It's not. This happened many, many, many years ago. Everyone involved is not even in teaching anymore. <laughs> you know this story's gonna be good when I put a disclaimer like that. No one from any school body is gonna traipse back many, many years ago to find out who is responsible for this. So please don't freak out on anyone's behalf. Everything is cool. Just enjoy this story of how I got an A in my French oral exam instead of getting a D. Don't make a D joke, don't make a D joke. Now I just want to start off by saying that I was very, very good at French at school. Like to this day, I can still read French fluently. Um, I can kind of construct sentences, it hasn't been a while. But the one thing I've always been bad at is understanding French when it's been spoken and also speaking in French. And those two things are the things you need to do in your French oral exam. I was pretty much heading for like a straight A at French until my oral exam, which I was very nervous for. You know, whenever I was told I had to speak French, my cheeks would just burn with shame the second I tried to do an accent. You know, I was so bad. Now for some reason, I was the last person in my year to take the French oral exam. My exam basically consisted of a cassette tape with a recording of my teacher at the time asking me some questions in French and me replying in French. I know that our school was really, really behind in submitting these tapes and I remember every teacher in the French block like sort of panicking and freaking out about it. I don't really think I need to point out the obvious but I did really fucking bad. As soon as my French teacher started talking in French, I was lost. Cause she was talking so fast and even though I was lip reading I just did not understand a word something about baguettes, I don't fucking know. I just completely choked. I did so bad, I was stuttering. I think at times I just said words in English with a French accent hoping that they were the same thing. I did bad. I done goofed, okay? So my French teacher stops the tape at the end and she gives me this look of, oh my god, you've done so fucking badly. What happened? You were my golden child. The head of the French department comes in to check that it's all okay. My French teacher presses the rewind button on the tape recorder and it's not going anywhere. The tape is just not rewinding and I remember my French teacher just looking at it in confusion and then sheer fucking panic. I had just taken my French oral test with no recording, no proof. Doesn't take a genius to work out that that's quite the boo-boo. I am at this point a witness that my French department has completely fucked up this module of my exam. My French teacher looks at the head of the French department, the head of the French department looks at me, I'm looking at my French teacher, it's, it's a triangle of looking at each other. It was weird. My French teacher, who was quite obviously panicking quite a lot, goes outside with the head of the French department. I'm sitting there like... All right, now what? They come back in with this sort of nervous but determined look on their faces. And I guess they sort of struck a deal with me. It's not a deal, it wasn't like a you keep quiet and we'll do this. It was kind of like an unspoken sort of thing, but I think we all knew what this was. Because I had fucked up so badly, and because my French teacher had quite clearly fucked up so badly, I got to retake my oral exam. Yay, big what to do, end of the story, everyone else would have got the same thing. Not quite. They kind of told me what I should say. My French teacher wrote down some very, very complex post GCSE level sentences for me to say when she asked me questions. They didn't completely spoon feed me, Although they, they did give me a dictionary to, to basically research, which you weren't allowed to do! I retook the French oral exam, they pressed record, my French teacher said some questions, she pointed to certain sentences in front of me, I read them, and I got an A. Oh! I feel so bad! I mean, shit happens, and like I said, no one's gonna get in trouble, this was literally, like, nearly a decade ago. Okay, this is not a big deal now, but at the time, this was like a scandal in my head. I was like, oh my god, I have rigged my GCSEs, bitches. My teacher said that my first take would have been a D, maybe an E. And this one I did pretty fucking good. My overall French GCSE result was a B, so I didn't do too terribly. Um, yay, good, I'm a dirty cheat. It's okay, 
you can take my GCSE away from me. I haven't used it since I was 16. No, really, I used it to get into college and then... I don't know, I guess I feel bad. I mean, it was so long ago that I don't really think I have a right to feel bad, and I'm not the person that fucked it up. I would have, I would have dealt with the D grade. The D. Oh, stop making the D jokes. But a word to teachers who have to do oral exams. Make sure that you press record before you give a kid an oral exam. That sounds wrong. I guess I hope you enjoyed this story. Um, the moral is don't cheat, even though you will get better grades. Wait, in case you're watching a few months in the future, this video is actually part of the Vlogmas month that I've been doing, but I think this might be the last video that I do for it, because the series hasn't proved to be too popular, and a lot of people are leaving, and that makes me kind of sad. I don't want to push anyone away, so I think that uploading every day is kind of annoying a lot of people, so I think we're just going to chill out for a little while and um, just go back to, to, you know, a video a week or something like that. But, um, there will be a video almost every day on my gaming channel from now on. Genuinely, I have been working my butt off, and by working, I mean recording me playing video games. But still, if you want to see more of me, then head over to Birdie Boots, which is right there, along with my toast pillow. That's there too. I'm currently playing Life is Strange, and I stayed up till 4 a.m. crying last night because of Life is Strange. So that's going to be up soon. I hope you enjoy it, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Catch you later! I feel like such a dirty cheat, I need a shower.